Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a test on the health of the battery in our 2017 Chevrolet Bolt. The car is about three years old. The 12 volt battery is a notorious weak link in these vehicles. So we're going to check it and make sure it can handle a load. We're also going to take a look first at the fuse panel and make sure all our fuses are seated properly. So as you can see here, we have our fuse panel. And I'm just going to pull on that and lift this cover up out of the way. The cover will have a diagram inside. But in here we can look at the fuses and relays. And I'm just going to gently but firmly push on the fuses and the relays to make sure they're all seated properly in place. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do before I start testing is I'm going to remove the terminals disconnect the battery from the vehicle's electrical system. Now in this case, it's a 3 8 ratchet. So I'm gonna get on the negative terminal first and I'm just gonna turn, get it loose and remove it, stick it out of the way. Then I'm going to remove the positive terminal. And after I do that, I'm going to be ready to start testing it. Now don't laugh at my cooler here, but this is going to be the load tester I'm using. This is the first time I'm going to use this load tester. And as you can see, it has a gauge on it. And then we're going to flip that switch for 15 seconds to see if it can handle the load. Okay, so here's my terminals. I'm going to start out by connecting the positive terminal to the positive terminal in the battery. Make sure you've got a good solid connection. Negative terminal is going to go to negative. And as you can see on the gauge, the battery is showing all the way at the top. So it's in good condition. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this switch for 15 seconds and we're going to see if this battery can handle a load. Okay. And it can handle a load. So we do have a good battery. This is the first time I've used it, so it did smoke a little bit. It's basically just a heating element in there inside of this load tester that heats up. And that's what, first time you use that, it might smoke a little bit, so that's normal. But this battery appears to be good. So now that I've tested the battery, I'm gonna go ahead and you probably don't need to, I don't need to, but it's probably a good idea to do it anyway. I'm gonna just gonna wipe all the dirt away so that I don't get any dirt in between the contact and the terminal itself and then I'm going to reconnect everything. I'm just going to go in and wipe in there and I'm going to go back to the negative and wipe in there. You can wipe in other areas as well. Then, first thing we're going to do is reconnect our positive. We're going to connect it the same way it was connected previously. Just going to get my ratchet. And you don't want to over tighten these terminals. You just want to get them snug. You do not need to over tighten them. Once you get it snug, just put a little pressure on it, twist on it, make sure it doesn't move, and then you're good there. I'm going to do the same thing for the negative terminal. Okay, so I have my terminals reconnected. I've wiped everything off. But the last thing I'm going to do at the end of all this, before I operate the vehicle again, is I'm going to put my trickle charger on here 
and make sure the battery is fully charged. In any event, if you found this information useful, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.